Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own 2D Street Fighter type fighting game. You'll be able to put in any characters you want. This is a game that I made where I have Marvel vs DC. All these characters are in, in my lineup of what I'd like to see in this kind of 2D fighting game. I'm going to show you some examples that are in this uh, Mugen series and then I'm going to show you how you can make your own. Out of my way, jerk ass! Woohoo! Look at that lover fly! What do you got? You what do you got? Diddly yuck! Huh? Huh? Come on! Oh! Yeah! Who the yeah. hell do you think you are? Oh! Oh! You good! Up and at him! Right to You will know the meaning of fear. How's it going, huh, Peter? You wanna go out sometime? Yeah, you know what? I don't care. You're a bitch. Go to hell. Let's go, Bob. Let's 
Let's go. Well, I'm going to show you how you can um, download this and make your own game. So first of all, you'll need to go online. You'll need to go to MuganArchive.com. Okay, there's there's the web address. Okay, and then when you're on there, what you'll do is you'll either go to Game Builds is right here and then to Mugen builds and from here you can select either the 1.1 beta one uh, the 1.0 stable or the win Mugen plus 2007 and I think I, I had this one this this plus or this plus update that's the one that you've just seen with my characters okay so it's just a case of then clicking on these and downloading now if the file is big if it's bigger than five megabytes you will have to create your own account okay which is free everything on this site is free At the moment that's less than five megabytes so you can download it for free however what you can also do if you wanted a more kind of customized build click on download and under add-ons where it says screen packs you can go to this And you've got all these different versions of Mugen that have been modified for different types of games. So um, you can have the Immortal Mugen or you can have a Sonic screen pack, etc. Okay, any of these you can obviously just download in the same way. Now obviously you would have to log in for that one. Now once you've done that, Obviously you'll need some characters. So this is here, under moving characters. And you've got loads and loads of categories to choose from. So for example, the comic book uh, category that I found before, DC Comics, Marvel Comics. So click on any of these, and obviously you've got your characters that you can download. So if you wanted, for example, Wolverine. Okay, this one's 12 megabytes. It comes with all the graphics, all the sounds, um, everything that you need to make that character work. Just download it. What you'll also need as well are some stages. These are the backgrounds for your characters to fight in. So for example, um, let's find, uh, for example, you could have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, for example. You can have all the backgrounds from there. So, uh, I'm going to show you uh, an example um, Mugen that I've downloaded, which is a DC Characters Pack. So if I just load this, okay, this is the person who made it, Tower Games, okay, this is what it looks like, so it's more customised than the other one. Now, as you can see, there are no characters at all. What we're going to do is we're going to install some characters and some stages and get this working. So these are my DC characters, okay, that I've already downloaded. So all I need to do is these are characters. I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm just going to drag them into this first folder, this Chars folder, which is obviously short for characters. And go in there, just uh, open the first one, Batgirl. Now, obviously, select all of them. Simply extract to and click OK. And, okay, so for some reason it, it put them inside of its own chars folder, which I didn't want. So let's just press Control c to copy, move outside, Control v and let's paste them in there, that's better. And I also have some stages as well. In fact, I only have one stage. So obviously that goes into the stages folder. Just go in there, let's just open this one up and we need both of these files. Let's drag them into there. To do that, we're going to go to data. Okay, and there's uh, a data file, which is a, a DEF definition file, uh, which is select. We're going to right click on this and open with notepad. Now, if you don't have that option, obviously just open notepad, find select and open it with that, since this is what you need in order to edit this. Uh, as we scroll down, obviously there's loads of information on how to use this. Uh, what we're interested in is insert your characters below. 
Now it actually gives us an example. Okay, and there's one for this uh, stages as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back to DC pack characters, and here we are. Okay, now I've already got Batman RMH. Okay, he's there, but I, I need to add these ones. Now they need to be spelled exactly the same. So the spelling is different, your character won't show up. Okay, and then I can either assign a specific stage by going stages, and the only stage I've got right now in here is stages of NYC. Let's do control C to copy and control V to paste. Okay, make sure that it has the extension, the .def on the end. And actually it already did. Okay, this time I'm just going to type random. If it's random, it means it's going to randomly select any of the stages that are already set here. Now obviously at the moment we only have one. So let's go to stages. And I'm just going to hover over here and it has to be the one that says .def on the end. F2, control C to copy. Let's go into the notepad. You have to type stages because that's the folder where it's located. And then forward slash control V to paste dot DEF. Okay, now it's got two stages to choose from in the randomization. And that's it. That's all you need to do in order to get your game working. Let's press file, save. Okay, and now let's check this. So let's just click Mugen. Comes back up. And under Arcade, we can now see that we've got our characters. So we've got Batman, Batgirl, and Superman. So that's uh, how you set up your Mugen. You can obviously load as many different Mugen builds as you want. Just make sure they've got different names. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have lots of interesting stuff coming up. And check out my website which is creativemediatutorials.wordpress.com See you in the next video.